We, what we're talking about is the 1970s, so middle of the second wave feminism. I think we gave up on, on, on morality way too early. It's, it's important to figure out why we're doing things. And as I get older, I realize it's not going to come from me or my generation, Earth Boomers. Well, my full name is Martina Heldegard Myers. Uh, back in 2009, I got a PhD. That's when I became a doctor. I was a feminist from the age of 12 on. And being in a small town in, in America, we're, what we're talking about is the 1970s. So middle of, of uh, the second wave feminism. But from the age of 12, I was totally clear that I was going to be working for women's rights and equality, one way or another. When I was 20 years old, and in my last year at the University of Michigan, I got very active on the Equal Rights Amendment, and Illinois was one of the last Midwestern Northern states uh, that had not passed the ERA. All of the rest of them had, after wor working in Washington and Illinois and seeing the ERA be defeated, it just struck me at 20 that no matter what we did, we were still always negotiating our sexuality at the same time we were negotiating our professionalism. I think we gave up on, on, on morality way too early. Um, I think that we do have moral positions. I mean, it's, it's important to figure out why we're doing things, you know, and, and when you're 20 years old, a, a feminist pay gap doesn't seem that important when it's 77 cents to a dollar. But for professors, after a, a lifetime of, you know, three quarters of the income of a male professor or a full professor, um, and whether or not they can support their family at 65, we're looking at really different questions. To me, the fundamental underlying question of morality leads to my understanding of ethics. What is fair, what is just, and that's what I should be working for, so that there was less distinction between morality and, and, and ethics. And um, it really is one thing. So whether, you know, I'm Christian, Muslim, Jew, Hindu, um, pagan, etc., etc., I have a morality that's mine. I'm definitely spiritual. Um, and that leads to my ethical decisions. And my ethical decisions are, you know, how to support myself and then how to promote change and support others in prom promoting change. And as I get older, I realize it's not going to come from me or my generation, Earth Boomers. And I hope that I teach change. <laughs>